Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well. And I am super excited for today's video because I have accumulated so many things while thrifting at just random thrift stores. Sometimes I'll pick up like one or two items here and there. Sometimes I'll pick up a few more, but I wanted to combine them all and show you guys everything I've been picking up lately that I haven't been filming in thrift with me's. So I've got some good stuff in this pile that I'm gonna share with you guys. And I will be selling almost all of these things online to make a profit. So I'll tell you guys how much I paid for them and how much I expect to make from them as we go, but it's gonna be a good video. So let's start this good old thrift haul. Also, I do have new glasses. If you guys are new here, you might not notice that, but these are new and they should also really help with some of my reflective issues because I wear glasses every day. So hopefully they will help me out quite a bit and I'm already loving them. Gio told me I look like an art teacher, which I kind of take as a compliment, but it's kind of funny. So let me know what you guys think of my new glasses, but let's hop into the thrift haul. So first up here, I have some pairs of shoes. I picked these up at Goodwill. I always go to the same Goodwill after I have a chiropractor appointment each week. So these are some of the things I picked up. I only picked up two shoes this day, so I didn't film a thrift with me, but I did end up picking up two pairs of Vionic shoes. So there's the brand on the base of the shoe. These are kind of like a nice little sandal with some light brown leather, a strap on the back. Vionic is one of those shoe brands that always sells pretty consistently for me. It's really well made. They just have a loyal following. These are in a women's size 11, so great size. And they have these marked at $8. I'm pretty confident that I had a 20% off coupon that day. So I probably paid less than $8 for these. But I'm expecting to sell Bionic shoes for around like $35. Pretty, that's where I usually sell them around. For ones that are like this that are a little bit less substantial, um, the lowest I will think I'll probably make from these is $25. But I would assume I'll list around $35 to $40 and make about $35 as a sales price. The second pair is this cute little pair of flip-flops from Vionic, and this is just one of those brands that I've been having better luck finding lately. Um, so I don't know what that will say for the sales price eventually, like if it'll go down, but these ones are in a women's size six and these were also $8. So I believe I also had some in-store credit. So I don't think I paid that much for these because I don't think I would have picked them up for $8, but I think that they are pretty cute and they should again, probably resell right around 25 to $35. And then this is kind of a strange circumstance, but I will put up exactly how much I paid for this on the screen. This is something that I was trying out and I thought about making a whole video, but it's really hard to bid and win a lot of different pieces from Shop Goodwill. So Goodwill has an online site where you can bid on things that they got as donations, but that are higher end pieces. And so this is the only thing that I've gotten so far and it is a Patagonia Sinchel T-Snap Pullover. So I absolutely love selling Patagonia, and the only reason I think that I was able to win this is because all of the pictures that were taken of this piece only showed the back. They didn't upload any pictures of the front, but when I saw the back, I kind of had a feeling that it was a T-Snap Pullover. So I didn't pay a ton of money with shipping. I think I paid 15-ish dollars for this. It's in a size extra small, and I love the color. It's this nice, light bluish color with a little bit of a purple underneath and then an orange accent. I've not seen one in this exact color before and I think it's really cute. It is an extra small, which is a small size, but I've been selling these for around 50 bucks pretty frequently. And I think that might be an older one, which could increase the value to more like 65. So I was happy to pick that up. And I, I think Patagonia is just an always a great thing for me to be grabbing. The other day I was at a Goodwill I went to my small little thrift store I go to and then after I went to the Goodwill and I just felt like this is the first day I had been there in a long time and I was shocked at how good it was. I found so many good pieces like these. Look at these guys. These are a pair of Lily Pulitzer pants, but they are fabulous. They are this patchwork tropical in your face Lily Pulitzer print. And I love selling Lily. I think this is a vintage piece from them based on that tag. It looks like an older tag, but Lily Pulitzer in a size eight. And these were marked at $5.99. Most all of their pants are a set price, which is really nice. And Lily Pulitzer, I mean, these pants probably originally were 150 bucks ish, somewhere around there. So I got them for $6, but I did definitely have 20% off this day. So 20% off of $6 
we're looking at like what 480 for those so less than five bucks for that and then i also found this amazing dress on the same trip and this is stunning i'm in love with it look at this beautiful purple dress it has a ruffle at the sleeve and then it's a tiered ruffled dress i love the color it's very spring square neckline and then there's also some scrunching the ruche at the back so it's nice and flexible but this is from j crew and the good thing about this too is it's new with tags so i was able to pick up this brand new with tags j crew dress in a size 20. so j crew size 20 new with tags and all of their dresses are usually marked at the same price too, which is $7.99. So this one was $7.99 for a brand new Tags J. Crew dress. Oh yeah. For this, I'm expecting to sell that for at least 50 bucks. I'd be surprised if it was less than that. And then also in that dress section, I found this dress too, which also just screams Lily Pulitzer. So here's the front. It is kind of like more a less substantial piece from them. It is a cotton dress. It has that kind of more athletic shaped back to it. It's in a size large, but this one was also new with tags. <laughs> so I was expecting it to be marked up quite a bit. It was only marked at $10, which again, I paid $8 for at the end of the day. It is new with tags. The price has been taken off of it, but it is the Monterey dress in Toucan play. So I know for a fact that these dresses usually sell, I like retail for over $100, probably $150 to $190 for this dress originally. It's in a size large, great size. Again, new with tags, I can probably sell it for at least $75. So that was a great pickup. And then again, I'm feeling like this was just such a good day at this Goodwill, and I don't have a lot of good days at Goodwill, but um, I've been really liking just like standalone thrift stores a lot more. But this was kind of the exception. I hadn't been there in a long time and just found some really cute pieces. I really like this kind of buffalo check pink piece. It's really nice. It feels great. It's an anthropology piece. And you guys know I love anthropology. <laughs> I paid $4 for it. And it's from Cloth and Stone. And this is one of the brands that does really well for me from anthropology. This is one of the well more well-known ones, I would say. So people often are searching for it. It's in a size small. And then it has all these buttons down the back. And I thought that was really cute. And it feels like it might have linen. Yep, 27% linen in this as well. So for this, I'll probably list around $35. It is long sleeve, it's linen, really cute style. I think it'll do well. So this is the same trip. We have a pair of Kate Spade flats. And usually Kate Spade gets really, really marked up if I find it at Goodwill ever. I'm shocked these were less than $25 but these were 12. I did pay probably more close to 10, a little bit under 10 for these, but I did think that they were worth it. I looked up comps, of course, before I bought them, and some of them were selling for around like 60, 70 bucks. So even if I get 50, I still feel like that is a worth it investment for me. And these are in a size seven, but they're very unique. They feel like calf hair, definitely feel really nice quality, and then we have the Kate Spade logo, of course. Really cute pair of shoes in a size seven. Yeah, I'm hoping at least 50 bucks on those. Then this is my first time ever finding Allen Edmonds in a size that wasn't like absolutely tiny. I thought that I would give them a go. I know a lot of people talk about selling Allen Edmonds shoes. This is what they look like. They're in Oxford style, really nice color, really good quality on the top. They do have a little bit of wear there on the bottom, but the heels are in great condition and it mostly is just that kind of just surface wear for them. This is what the brand looks like, Allen Edmonds. I do feel like this is a newer logo from them, so I do think that's a good sign. These are the Leiden, L-E-I-D-E-N, and they're in a size nine. Maybe this is an older style from them. It says 1996 on the tongue. Does that mean anything? Let me know if you guys know what that means. Is this actually vintage? They're in great condition if these are vintage. Interesting, but in a size nine, I thought these were a really cool style. I love the color. All of the, the detail work in this leather is impeccable and really gorgeous. These were $12.50, so I paid less than $10. Some Allen Edmonds can go for a hundred bucks. So 
I'm kind of taking a gamble <laughs> to learn about this brand, but I had a 20% off coupon and I had some in-store credit. So I decided today was the day. I did think these were really nice though. So hopefully I can get a good amount for those as I'm learning the brand. And then the last pair of shoes I got that same day was this pair of Danskos. You guys know I love selling Danskos. They do really well for me. These ones are a really cute style. They're a burgundy color and then they have this cute little detailing at the toes here. They're in really good condition. They are a Mary Jane style. Mary Jane styles from Dansko do really well for me. I'm expecting like 50 to $60 for these. They were also marked at $12, which is steep, but I paid about 10, probably a little bit less for these. So I do think that I should be able to make good money on them. And again, style had a lot to do with this. These are in a European size 37, so I think that's around a size seven, but I think these are really, really cute and they should do well. I love the chunkiness to the soles here. I think they're really, really cute. And then we also have another dress from that same trip. That trip, the dress section was just so good. This is not a brand I would always pick up to resell, but I do think this particular style will do really well. So this is a gorgeous beaded dress. You see this interesting like cutout detail. It's a navy blue. It is a full length gown. Like this is a formal dress, long sleeve, gorgeous piece with a zipper down the back. And this is from Lauren Ralph Lauren. Now I will sell a Ralph Lauren pretty much anything. It does well for me. I enjoy selling it. Lauren Ralph Lauren, not always that case, but this is a gorgeous dress. It is an evening dress and it's in a size four. I think for an evening dress, like an evening gown with beading, really well made, high quality dress, I'm expecting to get for this at least 50 bucks, maybe more. I would say maybe 75, honestly, but this is marked at 7.99. So that's the same price they mark any just normal dress. For that much, for getting it for a little bit, around $5, I definitely thought it was worth reselling. And it's a gorgeous piece. So really high quality. And I pick up a lot of evening wear because people are much more willing to spend good money for that. And then I also have this pair of pants, which is a brand that I've been more selective about recently. But to find them at this Goodwill for $5.99, I paid, what, four something for these not too shabby. They are a brand of Pistola pants, which is a brand that is sold at Revolve. And I like selling Revolve pants. I like selling Revolve dresses. There usually is a pretty good amount of people looking for things like that. So these are not size 31. I liked the color on these. I thought they were unique. Kind of this nice little kind of grayish, gray, beige, brown kind of mix. It's very interesting. I thought they were kind of cute. So I grabbed those. Again, paid four bucks. So that was a great haul that day. And then another random trip to Goodwill gave me these pairs of Ugg shoes. I think these might've been the other, only thing I got that day, but I picked up this pair of purple moccasins from Ugg, great color. They look like they're in good condition. They are not like a driving wedge. They don't have the extra piece right here. The only wear on these is really on the back there where they normally have that extra protection. Some grass on them, but these were $9. I didn't pay that much for them, but they are a really pretty color purple. They're from Ugg and they're in a size nine. Size nine pair of little Ugg moccasins. I think I can get at least 50 bucks for those. And then these ones are really interesting too. Another pair of Ugg shoes. I like the style of these. I think they're really fun. Nice brown leather with this white, with the white sheepskin interior, a little bit of a heel, very interesting kind of mule style. And these ones are in excellent condition. Like, I don't even know if they have been worn. Look at the bottom, super, really pristine. They're in a size seven and they were $9. And then you can see on the inside too, they're in really good condition. So I'll have to do some um, reverse image search and then I'll do some research to see how much these will go for. But I mean, I would say $50 is, a very conservative estimate for how much I can get for those two, maybe more. And then I happened to pop into Uptown Cheapskate the other day and they were having a dollar days sale. So anything that was like zero to $9.99 originally, if it was on sale, then it was $2. And then the next one was $9.99 to $15 was $3. So I was, I got some great deals. I only picked up a few things, but the first piece that I picked up is this faux leather skirt. This is from Free People. So this was originally $24 in store, and so this was $5 at this sale. It's in a size four from Free People. 
and this is just a gorgeous kind of cognac with there's a little bit of red going on in this but it's a brownish red color super cute mini skirt and comps for this looked around like 40 bucks so i grabbed that and then I did pick up a pair of Lululemon leggings, which were on sale. They are this kind of interesting gray color with a little bit of shimmer underneath. They're not a full length, which would be really helpful for reselling. If they're full length, they usually get me a lot more money than this kind of more like 20 inch inseam would. But these, I think I paid five dollars for these as well so not bad and these are in a size four and I feel like I've sold this exact style before like the coloring on this is really interesting I can fabric shave it and that will help it out quite a bit but yeah for five bucks not bad at all I think for those at least 35 maybe more and then I grabbed this just as I was leaving I was actually in line when I saw it I just thought it was really cute it's this white dress it's a full length ruffled really beautiful eyelet detailed dress and this is from Talbot's which I have been finding more and more and really liking selling it's from Talbot's it's in a size 8 petite but it is a maxi length dress and it does have the attached belt I just thought this was a gorgeous dress absolutely stunning I love the color this was supposed to be $16.99 so I think I paid three or five dollars for this as well so not too bad, $15, I didn't use any money out of pocket. I actually had all, I just used in-store credit, so I didn't pay anything. And then the last thing I picked up at Uptown Cheapskate, these were not on sale, but I'm so excited because this is my first time ever picking up a full set of Blendstones. And these are so cool. These are a pair of men's Blendstones. Here is the Blendstone tag here on the back. They're really nice, great pair of black shoes. And then you can also see Blundstone written across the heel there. These are in great condition. They don't look like they've been worn hardly at all. These were $34.99. Now, I knew that I was using my in-store credit, so I didn't pay anything for these either, which is one of my biggest tips when you're going to any buy, sell, trade store is going to the bins and finding clothes that are just like mall brands that they will take at resale places like this and then using them, selling them to them, and using that money to buy more high-end items that you can sell for more money online. I love doing that. These are in a men's size 13, and again, I don't know if they've ever been worn. They look so good, and they are impeccable. I love them. So for these, I'm expecting some Blundstones can sell for you know, 200 bucks, some people list them around there. I've never sold them or found them, and so I know that they should sell for at least $100. But between 100 and 200, that might be asking a little bit much. Maybe I'll list around 125, but I do think that they are impeccable, great condition, so excited to find these. So size 13 too, really big, right? And then my last two pieces that I have here are two amazing leather pieces. We have this amazing tooled leather purse that I decided to take a chance on. I think it's really gorgeous and it looks definitely handmade. Look at all the intricate detailing. I love the clasp on this as well. This was $12 at a Goodwill. I paid this a while ago, but comps looked around 75 for this. So it has a braided leather strap and a gorgeous shape to the saddle. I think it's absolutely stunning. Hopefully I can get 60 bucks for that. And then the last piece that I have here, I got at a Goodwill and they are an amazing pair of Fry shoes. These are stunning. I am obsessed. They have this gorgeous leather to the strap here, a little bit of a heel, nice pair of mules to throw on. And again, anytime I see Fry out in the wild, especially when it's not marked up that much, I get so excited. These are in a women's size nine, and then they also were $15. I don't know if I paid that much for these. They are my size. I'm very tempted to keep them for myself, but they're so pretty. And I would say if I'm gonna resell them, I'll make probably around 50 to $75 on these. It'd be more if they were boots, but I still thought these were absolutely great but those are all the pieces that i picked up recently if you guys like this kind of just like throw everything at you all the pieces i've been picking up then make sure to give it a like and hit the subscribe button but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys are having an amazing day i hope you have an amazing rest of your day and until the next video bye